Hi, I am Vilas from Informatica Technical Support. Today we will see how to create custom Jasper reports in IDD dashboard. Agenda for this video. Today we will see how to create Jasper reports. How to configure Jasper reports in bddconfig.xml and also how to configure Jasper reports in IDD dashboard. Demo. So now we will create Jasper report. So I am using Jasper I report designer to create Jasper report. In this we have to first create a data source to for creating any Jasper report. So I will show you how to create a, Jasp a data source. So I am I clicked on connections then now I clicked on new after that I have selected database JDBC connection and then I'll select the driver here you can see some drivers are in uh, other color so that means that we don't have these driver jars present in Jasper I report designer installation directory so after selecting the driver I'll provide the JDBC URL then give username and password and then just I can do a test and save it so this is my iReport 5.6 installation directory here I have copied ojdp6.jar which is driver for oracle we can create Jasper reports in couple of easy ways so one way will be we, I can go to help samples then select charts so it will give me a, some default samples so I can just remove uh, these unneeded fields from designer or I can remove the tags from XML so I can customize this chart So in this iReport designer we have three options. One is designer. From here I can uh, drag and drop the charts to the workbench. Then other option is I can edit the XML and it will give me the chart. And preview uh, we use to see uh, how the chart will look. So actually it will create a dot jasper file from dot jrxml so I have created a sample report to display in IDD so this is the name tag in dot jrxml file so this tag is needed to uh, use this report in IDD so uh, when I click on preview it will give me the output of the report and it will also generate a dot .jasper, dot .jasper file uh, into iReport designer installation directory so here you can see this dot jasper file so I'll place this file uh, in MDM installation directory so I'm going to MDM I'm going to MDM installation directory hub server resources I'll create a reports folder first time then I'll go inside it and I'll paste this file now uh, I'll just show you an IDD application 
so this is the current dashboard so in layout we don't have any items available which are not in the dashboard so I'm going and logging out from here uh, I have already exported this IDD application and this is the BDD config for that application so I'll add a tag a reports tag so in this one we'll be having report definition this tag will be set uh, this one tag means one report so let's say I have four uh, reports to display an IDD so I have to I should have four report definition tags this display name is uh, it will display this name in IDD for the chart logical uh, ORS group name is logical ORS group name from BDD config this name and template are nothing but uh, the name of Jasper report we have created means while uh, I have shown you earlier in dot jrxml file this name field so I have copy pasted that name here so I'm add I'm going to add this tag in bdd config.xml so I'm going to save it and import to this application I have selected bdd configuration I'm selecting that bdd config.xml file import So import is done, clear cache and redeploy the application. So now I'm, now I'm launching the application. So now I'm going to add this report to IDD dashboard. So I, I'm adding it to selected items, clicking on save. So now it's showing me the Jasper report, which I have created as I said earlier there are couple of ways to create the Jasper report uh, we have data mart utility uh, in which we provide a sample Jasper reports so if I go to info MDM hub resource kit samples BDD Jasper reports here you can see some sample Jasper reports so you can make use of this JR XML to create new Jasper reports you can customize it according to your need and you can make a new Jasper report from it uh, we would like to hear from you so you can write us on support videos at that informatica.com or you can also write us on twitter thank you